Hi, it's Cindy J from Green Bay, and I have a Ruby's Pantry haul to share with you tonight. And Ruby's Pantry is this amazing program that they have in Northeast, in the Northeast area. It includes Wisconsin, Minnesota, North Dakota, I think Iowa also. Um, they do this food share program essentially where overstock of various foods that are just on the cusp of use by date or just past the use by date but is still good they're put in these bundles and then distributed for $25 per bundle so this isn't a food pantry per se this isn't um you know we're like Paul's pantry is what we have locally here where you go and you get free food you do pay for this and they do stress on their site on Facebook that this is a program meant for everyone and again at $25 per share you really do get a great value and every time it's very different sometimes you get a lot of really cool stuff and sometimes not so much um, but one thing I do want to stress is that I'm grateful for this program and I'm grateful for the opportunity to get to go through the share initially and pull out what my husband Jay and I are going to use and then um, I have family that are local and some friends that are happy to take anything that uh, we don't use. In fact, it's a real pleasure to get a chance to share what I don't have use for with others. So nothing ever goes to waste here at all. With that said, let's dig in and see what kind of goodies I've got here tonight. Um, they always seem to have ice cream included in the shares which is fun and this time they have the little mini swirls which is just the vanilla ice cream dipped in chocolate i really like these the best i like the vanilla with the the chocolate i had some that were all chocolate the chocolate ice cream and chocolate cones that i had given away that i passed on and so there were three of these so i'll probably keep one and pass on the other two to um some friends with kids and then a bag of pretzels, and that's always something nice to have on hand for snacking, so um, no complaints there. And then the big bag of tater tots. I mean, what is a trip to Ruby's Pantry without the, the big bag of tater tots? And, of course, the big bag of the french fries, which are, are in here. We'll get to them, trust me. But um, we've got the tater tots and also two, three um, packages of celery. So this uh, can be used to make like a nice soup or just cut them up for snacking or whatever. So I will um, be keeping one of these to make a soup or something and snacks and pass these guys on while they're fresh and good. It's always a treat to get the, the fresh produce included so I always like to make sure that they get used up accordingly and then um, this here just look at this a whole unopened case 12 pack of um, iced coffee it's vanilla um, iced coffee and I usually pass these on to um, my dad really likes these iced coffees um, the ones that usually that come in the glass bottles so I'll see if he would like these otherwise my sister is a big coffee drinker so um, she may enjoy these as well so um, very nice it says again you know used by or best by 327 23 so you know a little over a year but it certainly doesn't mean that it's bad it's just probably taste best by the used by date so if anybody ever checks out those MRE channels, there's one in particular, Steve um, 1989 or Steve MREs 1989, and he's eaten like 100 year old MRE food, so that's pretty fascinating. Um, but uh, nothing like that going on here. Now, here's a nice treat just a plain old cheese pizza. And I love this because I can even throw some of my own toppings on. If I've got a few chunks of meat, you know, I can put for Jay on one side. And I actually have some artichoke hearts that I wanted to use up that I can 
put on the other side. So a, a pizza is always a nice treat to have on hand. And these are always tasty, these little pretzel bites. In fact, I got some of these in my last haul. So um, they're, okay, they're pretzels, they're like soft pretzels. And that's exactly what they taste like, so they're great. And this one's kind of a nice uh, treat as well. The Organic Honey Gold Bite Sized Potatoes. So there's one, two, three, four, four bags of the Organic Bite Sized Potatoes. But oh, look at them, how tiny they are. Those little tiny potatoes are so delicious. You can leave the skin on them. I mean, not everybody likes the skin, but I do, especially of the you know, smaller ones that more delicate skin and um, good fiber and can do a lot with potatoes. And then, oh, two bags of frozen corn. And I do love corn. Admittedly, when I purchase my corn, I generally go for um, my canned corn. I'll always keep a couple of cans of corn in my pantry just for, you know, whatever to add to a recipe. But um, this super sweet corn, I certainly can use some frozen corn and make uh, like a, a pasta dish or something with it with some chicken and some just for buttered noodles. And speaking of which, I noticed that there was a box of um, just plain old rotini, just plain old pasta rotini and or rotoni, I apologize, geez. <laughs> and pasta great shell a uh, pantry item that can be used for anything so this and um the last thing that i'll be showing you is the chicken that i got so that's a whole meal right there between the pasta and the frozen corn oh and then a head of cauliflower so i'll have to see what i can do with the fresh cauliflower here and oh, you just boxy <laughs> Here we go. Here are those fries. So yes, a, a very large bag of fries. But um, in fact, I brought, knowing that I was going to the pantry tonight, I brought my husband's paralegal a big bag of these fries and tater tots because her son loves that. And she said that, you know, my sister wouldn't mind a bag either. And so I'm like, I got you covered. <laughs> There's no problem there, and it's great for the kids, you know, they just whip a bunch in the oven, and the kids love it, so, so yeah, that'll work out well, and what do I, ooh, this is a neat one, see, that's what's fun about going through the boxes right now, is getting to be surprised, um, cinnamon apple loaded breadsticks, oh, that sounds really good, cinnamon apple loaded breadsticks, I'm looking forward to trying that out. So, I mean, Jay does like cinnamon, but he doesn't like apples. So I'm going to still try to sneak this one by him because I'm sure that it'll smell really good like cinnamon. And shoot, I'll eat the little pieces of apple off of it. So, But yeah, nine breadsticks. I'm very excited to try this one. That should be a great treat. And then oh, two more. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I've got so a total of three of the pretzel bites. So I'm going to be eating pretzel bites here for the foreseeable future. And this is also a very shareable item. So I think two of these bags will get passed on to others who can enjoy them. And then I have oh, some beverages here. A bottle of Clover Valley Cola came in this box. And then some other beverages. A single can of Claire Broom Sparkling Water, or Clare Brun Lemon. Um, I've never heard of that brand before, so that'll be something new to try. And then a single bottle or can of Bubbly Sparkling Water. I've heard of Bubbly, but I've not had the... Um, Lemon, lemon sorbet, so I will enjoy that one. And then a bubbly bounce, caffeinated sparkling water. So that's a little different, mango passion fruit. So 
I'll save that one for a morning time. Don't need any caffeine bounce here before bedtime. And then a couple, or a Diet Pepsi, a singular <laughs> Diet Pepsi, which I don't mind a Diet Pepsi once in a while with um, pizza. A soda always sure hits the spot with pizza, doesn't it? Mm. So hey, now I have my one Diet Pepsi to go with the pizza when I make that. And then we've got one, two, three, and four cans of Diet Mountain Dew. And Jay will occasionally have a Mountain Dew if he wants a little kick of caffeine. So I can maybe stick that in his office fridge for him. And, you know, if uh, he doesn't drink them, I mean, there's always someone who will. And then finally, this box here, a box of mini apple pies. So this will be a nice little snack to just keep in the pantry. Or a little that? Oh, garlic rye chips. So another little munchy snack to have on hand. And then we have, oh, jalapeno pepper slices. That's a fun one because I do enjoy jalapenos. And this you can, you know, do all sorts of different things with, add to a dish again, make some nachos. So yeah, these certainly won't uh, go to waste. And then a taco kit coming with the jalapenos. So that works out nice. They almost always have a taco kit included, so um, I share a lot of the taco kits with my brother. He does like uh, tacos a lot. He Well, he hosts a dinner at his house like every couple of weeks, and tacos are usually his specialty. And then I have um, Summer Berries Boost Oatmeal. So this is pretty nice. One, two, three, four... Six, so six half dozen of these little summer berry boost oatmeal cups and how handy what a nice thing to just you know throw in your bag to take to work or whatever or just a, a quick snack and it's good for you I have to say this share as opposed to last time I mean there really was a lot of processed foods and you know, one person made a very valid comment that, well, maybe Ruby's Pantry isn't for you with all the processed foods. And that's a very valid point, you know, and point taken, because if it was just me, yeah, I, I couldn't get through all that processed stuff. But I always have a place to, you know, send it where it will be used and enjoyed. And um, then on some of these shares, you do get a good amount of stuff that's a little, you know, once the the fresh produce starts getting added on. Usually the, I think the boxes now as we're coming more into season of um, produce growing, we'll probably see more of that in the boxes as opposed to the dead of winter. But, but yes, so six oatmeal cups. And then of course, no trip to Ruby's pantry is complete without the good old K-Cups, which my all my family, I think I'm the only one who doesn't have one of those um, Keurig machines, but everybody else does. So we've got the chocolate hazelnut cup. So a nice bag full of those guys to enjoy. And then, oh, a bag of granola. A lot of times we find those in, in the boxes. And these Ugh, always can come in handy because you get yourself a little vanilla Greek yogurt, a little fresh fruit. Mm, you can make the greatest parfaits with this stuff. It's a nice treat. And then finally, these three bags of Black Forest Juicy Burst Mixed Fruit Snacks. So, again, something nice to just kind of keep on hand for snacks and whatnot. And then the last thing is out in my garage, a 